Right, hello. How is everyone doing? As you can see, I'm a Doncaster fan. And I'm going to do my League One predictions for the 2019-2020 season. So, I'm just going to get straight into it. 24th, I've got Berry, And that might not come as a surprise to people because of their 12-point deduction. And obviously, in the pre-seasons, they've had to play team and subs for the trialists as they've got no players. So, that's probably a fair point. And 23rd, Bolton. Same sort of position. They only got, I think it's six contracted players at the minute. Yeah, I think it's six. So, even if the takeover does happen today, even if it does or not, because I'm recording it before, um, uh, yeah, they've still not got that much time to bring people in for them to gel, because they've had to cancel all the pre-season games. And 22nd, I'm going with Southend, who stayed up on the last game of the season on goal difference. When I watched them last season, I didn't think they were very good, apart from first game of the season when I watched them at Roots Hall. They were all right towards the end, but once we went 3-0 up, they were down and out. But 21st, Wimbledon. I rate Wally Downs as a manager, right? But I think for about, I don't know how many seasons it is now, but for however many seasons... They've been around the bottom, staying up on goal difference on last day or just last day in general. So I just don't think they'll do it this time because they've not made the best additions. And I think they're losing Joe Piggott, unless they've already lost him, I don't know. Um, And just staying up, Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury's a a weird one because you don't know what's going on with them and what isn't because obviously they got the playoffs a few years ago, but then it just went downhill from there, to be fair. There's not really much else I can say on them. 19th, Rochdale, not very good team. When I went to them at Spotland, is it? Where in last season, um, absolutely smashed them. And then early January, they came to the keep out. And we absolutely smashed them. I think it was like 5 0. So, going off that, I just don't think they'll do very well. 18th, Gillingham, right now. Tom Eves. What a loss that is. Honestly. He, from my, from my seeing, he uh, orchestrated all their play and. They didn't have anything much without him. And now he's gone to Hull. I don't see them doing that well. And they've lost Thomas Holly as well to Ipswich, which is a massive loss as well. 17th, Accrington. I just think that they've got that momentum, to be fair, with John Coleman. Just, just think they've got that momentum to stay up and they've got all that squad morale because they've gone up and very small club compared to some of the clubs in here, like Sunderland, Ipswich, all them. Yeah, I just think it's great what John Coleman's done. 16th, MK Dons. Now, MK Dons. You've got a 30,000-seater stadium. You only fill about 5,000 of it every game. Now, that's a problem, because the team the team needs the atmosphere from the fans to back them up. So, I've gone with them for 16th, if they still keep, is it, um, I forgot the striker, one of them's gone to Charlton, but I can't remember the other one, is it Chucks and EK, or is that the one that's gone to Charlton, it's one of them anyway, but yeah, 15th, Bristol Rovers, I mean, they've signed Tyler Smith, who was at Donny last season, and they've signed, I think they've signed a few all right players. But to be fair, you can't, it's hard to judge, to be fair, in this league. All the like mid table teams are so hard to judge because they're all around the same. But there's not really much you can say on some of the teams. But yeah. 14th, Tranmere. 
And they've just signed Morgan Ferrier as we speak. And I think that's a decent signing. But they've got a few all right players, Ollie Banks. But obviously, James Norwood is the biggest loss. And I don't know how they'll cope without him. But they've got a few decent players at the back as well. And they might be getting that Hepburn Murphy from Villa. That's a good signing as well. But yeah. 13th, this might be a surprise, but Lincoln. I know they've got momentum and all that, but I just with some of the things that some of the teams have done above them, I don't I don't think that they'll do very well, to be honest. I know they've got like Danny Cattley, um I forgot they might be getting Tyler Walker, that's a good signing. They've just lost Matt Jilks, but I just don't think that they've got enough in them to push for the playoffs. 12th, Wickham. This might surprise some people, but they've made a few decent summer signings, um, and I think that can propel them. And I like Gareth Ainsworth as a manager. I, I do rate him. And I just think um, that they've been so close to relegation that I think they deserve to get higher because I do rate Wickham to be fair 11th Oxford right Carl Robinson great manager made a load of additions including Ben Woodburn what a signing that is and um, they've signed a lot of foreign players as well and they've done it early on so they can gel together as well so I just think 11th for Oxford is quite good 10th Coventry They've made a few signings, um, and obviously the big loss is the stadium. Now they're playing at Birmingham Stadium. They are they'll only get two or three thousand every game, and I think that'll impact them because it's not their home stadium. It's basically like an away match, so they've not got the best support from the. Home fans, especially when you think like Sunderland and Ipswich and Portsmouth will be bringing 4,000 as well. That might be more than their actual home crowd. So I just don't think they've got enough to properly, proper push to the playoffs. Ninth, Blackpool, Simon Grayson, rating. And um, uh, yeah, um, there's not really much to say. They've made a few good summer signings. They've replaced that Mark Bowler who's gone to. Middlesbrough. Um, yeah. I don't think there's much else to say about that. They could maybe push for the playoffs. Eighth, Burton. I think they gave it a right go last season. When I went to the Pirelli, they were good. I know it was early on in the season, but I still think they played well under Nigel Clough. And I think they've got enough in them to try and push for the playoffs as well, especially with... Lucas Aitkins as well, he's a good player. But the big loss is Marcus Harness. I don't know whether they've replaced him yet, but it's a lot to replace. But we'll see. There's still there's still a month left in the transfer window, but the season starts tomorrow. So um seven Fleetwood. Fleetwood, right. Joey Barton. Still not too sure about him. They've made some good sign ins. Obviously, Paul Coots, Matt Jilks. Um, my mind's gone blank now. Danny Andrew from Donny. Uh, Harry Sutar again from Stoke on alone. I think the sign Louis Coyle again. Uh, I think they are. And Ash Hunter, he's a good player. Um, especially when he played against Donny those two times, they absolutely ripped apart. And I, I can think they've get, they're going to give a good playoff push, but I think they're just going to get uh, just going to miss out. Right, so into the playoffs. This might be a bit biased, but sixth, Donny. Right. We brought Darren Moore in. Very good. Um, we've signed some... Well, firstly, we've lost Herbie Kane. Still at Liverpool at the minute. Malik Wilkes gone to Barnsley. Um, Tommy Rowe gone to Bristol City. Danny Andrew obviously gone to Fleetwood. Morosi gone to Coventry. Um... I'm trying to think who else now. Paul Downing gone to Portsmouth. Andy Butler gone to Scunny. Um, 
Marquis has obviously just gone to Pompey for two mil, uh, and I'll get on to that. But we've brought a few all right players in. Ben Sheaf on loan looks very good. Um, we've had Jamie Ward and Alex Baptiste on trial, who we're going to sign in the next few days. Uh, we've signed Semi Dieng on loan from QPR. I can admit, I don't know really that much about him, but what I've seen. He looks quite good. Sam Brad Halliday from Cambridge. Still not too sure about him. Reese James from Sunderland. Very good. Likes, likes to attack. Likes, likes to get forward. And I think that's good under Darren Moore. I think he can develop him well. With Sam Magic Gomez, who I really like. He's got a really he's got a rocket on his left foot. Um and Hopefully, we can sign a striker in the next few days to replace Marquis, as we've got two million for him. And our owners just said they've got the funds to spend on loads of areas in the squad if we need it. But Ben Whiteman's just been made our captain. What a, what a player! I'm surprised Championship clubs have not nicked him yet, but he is very, very good. Um, getting on to fifth, Peterborough. They spend every year under Darren Ferguson. I think he's an all right manager. I think he plays a bit boring football, but they've signed loads of players like they did last year. Narrowly missed out last year, seven. But <sighs> Moisa, very good signing. They've, they've kept Ivan Tony so far. That is very good. But they've lost Ryan Tafazoli. And from what I saw, he was a very good centre half. But yeah, I, th- I think they'll do what I think they'll do well this season. Fourth, Sunderland. Fan base. Quality of training facilities. Manager Jack Ross. Obviously McGeady. They've done well to keep him. John McLaughlin, very good keeper. Um Elliot Embleton, I think he'll have a breakthrough season there. I think he's done done all right at Grimsby. I think he'll do all right at Sunderland this season if he plays. But obviously the boss Reese James lost Brian Oviedo. Uh, I can't, can't think who else they've lost. But yeah, I think they'll they'll do all right. They'll get playoffs again. But um, I'll tell you who wins the playoffs after I've done my predi- prediction. Third Rotherham. As much as it pains me to say it, Rotherham. They've lost Will Vokes and Semi Ajayi, but they've brought in Freddie Ladapo and someone else from Scotland at centre mid for a six figure fee. So I, I just think, yeah, they've come down from the championship. They've got that quality, and I think they'll just miss out on automatics. Second, Ipswich. Quality signing of James Norwood. I think he'll do well in League One. Thomas Holly as well from Gillingham, and they've got MC Arla as well, centre half. Um, I'm trying to think of else. I don't think there's anyone else to be fair, but I think they'll do all right here. Yeah. And first, Pompey. I just think they'll stomp the league this season. McGill of Ray in net, down in at the back, Christian Burgess. Is it Ben Close? They've still got he's quite good. Lee Brown, left back. Anton Walks, very good. And you just look at the strikes and you just think, wow. Brett Pittman, Ellis Harrison, Ollie Hawkins, and John Marquis. That is four quality strikers in League One. And the manager, Kenny Jacket. And John Marquis, right? Ten months left on his contract. Some at Donny Fanza. Give him stick for all his three years. Basically, he's got a goal every other game at Donny, which is fantastic. Um, but uh, it's a massive loss for Donny, but it's a massive game for Portsmouth because getting two mil out of a player who's got his contract ended in 10 months and had no intention of signing what, another one because he wants to move down south because of his family and his Wife's having a baby in a week. I think that is brilliant business from Donny. But, yeah, Pompey, I just think they've got it in them to get first. 
So playoffs. I've got third Rotherham, fourth Sunderland, fifth Peterborough, and sixth Donny. So Donny against Rotherham. South Yorkshire Derby in the playoff semi final. I'm not being biased here, but over two legs, I think Donny will win it 3 2. And then Rotherham and uh, not Rotherham and Sunderland, Sunderland and Peterborough. I think Sunderland will just have it in them, especially at home as well. Um, so it'd be a Sunderland Donny playoff final. And I've got a feeling Sunderland will win that 2 1. Sunderland would win that 2 1 because I think they've got more experience at Wembley than Donny. And I just think that it'll take them further as well. And I think they'll go up to the championship, which is deserved for them. So Donny would spend another season in League One. But I'm more happy with that. But yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye bye.